so this topic is for port forwarding our topic is going to be more interesting so stay tuned and please watch carefully in this topic uh, that you see the topology in this topology i have given same ip range to two internal networks okay that one in that uh, i am going to configure web server and ftp server and another one is the remote user and that will try to access a web server okay ips are same why i kept the ip same because in real network you know that <coughs> every user behind the router get the private ip okay and that that private ip cannot be routed to public network so behind this pub, uh, private ip you can access to public network but from the public to private it is not possible so i am just trying to give you a real scenario so that you can understand better for port forwarding technique okay so here is routing everything is already configured if you want to know that how we can set up this lab so link is given in the description you can find it from there in this video only port forwarding okay so just focus on port forwarding so let's try to ping from one device to another to check the connectivity go to router to first and ping this router ip 1.1.1 try to ping 2.2.2 that's the ip address of this router and you see it is successful so and you can try to ping uh, server so it is behind this router itself so 192.168.192.168.1.10 so it is working okay so the interesting thing that is that if i want to access this web server i cannot because if i put the ip address of this server the uh, traffic will not go there because you know that the ip of this you uh, this pc itself is the same as the server ip so if i am going to try from the web browser 192.168.1.10 it will not work even i um, enable the http service so these are already on and let me enable ftp service as well this is also on okay so if i try ftp from here ftp 192.168.1.10 this will not work so how we can achieve it we have to do port forwarding by doing net so net where have to apply we have to apply at the edge devices so edge devices are those routers who connected to private and public network so these two routers are edge devices first go to in this router and configure net config terminal and uh, just uh, give static network uh, netting ip net inside source ip and source ip of the web server 192.168.1.10 and what is the port port uh, number of the http service that is 80 okay no problem it will 
it is the by default so no need to mention the port number you can give the public ip address so public ip address of this interface that is 1.1.1 okay source static okay that's it and now configure the port ads as inside and outside so first interface that is facing to public network that is one ip net outside and the private network facing interface that is zero zero and ip net inside okay you are done with it and let's do it on uh, this router as well so config terminal ip net inside source static and the ip address of private network okay and the public network then public is 2.2.2 .2 okay and again on interface you have to decide that which interface outside or inside so 000 is the outside ip net outside and ip net inside you are done so if i try to ping or access ftp service from this so with the same ip it will not work because the both ips are same so that's a challenge but we can access the services with the different ip that is public network public ip and that is called port forwarding 192.168.1.10 it will not work ever but when i try to ping uh, access http service with this ip it will work let's do it 1.1.1 .1 you see you are getting the uh, web access from this pc and let me change the this uh, page edit the page go to http service and uh, edit no not from here index edit change here from this is my web server okay save let's try now just click on go and you see this is my web server so you are changing in your server and you can access with that diff with the same ip address uh, going through the public internet so that's the main motive of the port forwarding let's access the ftp services so ftp service you have to uh, just configure the ftp service first on this server uh, give a username username as techie password you can give same techie and give the permission read write delete rename or list and then add okay that's it go to the pc and command prompt type ftp and with the public ip it's prompted for username provide the username Take key, password take key. okay so you are getting the console of that ftp server get you can uh, dir so you are getting all the uh, files of the ftp server here you can even download the file any file if you want so how we can download get and then any file name like uh, this ASA I want to copy and then paste 
okay hit enter so file is being transferred from web uh, ftp server to this client so it will take some time because the file is downloading let me pause the video and once it yeah it's connect uh, done so how we can check it that it has downloaded the file or not go to tftp service and then this file you have downloaded from the ftp server so thank you thank you for watching this video